At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, everyone. Boys and girls, I want you to stand up and follow me. We're not going to go that far. But take a look at this thing. How many of you know what it is? Xavier. Excellent. Pretty good. What is the official name? Does anyone know the official name for this guy? Mm, yeah? It, it looks like a lantern. I know this is a tough one. What do you think? Lukey? This is the Advent wreath, my acolyte. Yes. Advent wreath. There's all these different candles. And what's going to happen is first we're going to light that one, and then next week there will be two candles lit. And then three, and then four, and then on Christmas, we light the Christ candle. Now, the idea is that Jesus is the light of the world. During this dark season when it gets dark really early, doesn't it, guys? There's just less light. This is one of the ways that we are reminded that in a dark world, sometimes sin is compared to darkness. Jesus is our light. Not only does he chase away all the darkness of sin, he gives us, shows us the way to go. All kinds of wonderful things. So every week, watch as the acolyte, it won't always be Lukey, goes to go around and light another candle because Jesus is getting closer to coming. His celebration, anyway. Can you fold your hands with me? Dear Jesus, sometimes we don't know what to do, and yet your light, your word tells us what to do. Sometimes we do things that are wrong and there's darkness in our lives. Well, your light, your forgiveness chases away all darkness. Help us to never be afraid of the light, but to always come to you, Lord. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. <laughs> 